And then, yeah, like you said, riding in the wind and the rain, not ideal. And that's what we're going to be going back to after seeing a lot of scenes and sights like this. This one sent to us by Grace, and uh, this was actually yesterday evening around sunset, but uh, this is at Skagit Valley. You can see the beautiful looking tulips. A wonderful weekend. If you were able to get out, get up and to see the tulips or maybe go out to the waterfront or anywhere else here, some of our national and state parks, you had a great time this weekend. You didn't have to worry too much about the weather. Check out the high today. 67 degrees are low at 42. Uh, and when you factor those in, it wasn't too far off of where we should normally be. So it was just overall more of an average day, but it just felt so much better. But you see nothing in that precipitation gauge. We're going to get some more rain here as we go on into the night. Some folks already seeing it right now. We'll talk about that here soon. Right now at 54, we got the cloudy skies and that southwest wind in place too. So as long as we keep that south wind, don't expect that temperature to drop a whole lot more into the night. Yeah, maybe just getting into the 40s, but just barely getting there as we head deeper on into the evening. 50 in Bremerton right now at a 50 in Shelton and from earlier tonight when we were talking about forks temperatures and how they were already beginning to cool down, they were around the upper 40s. That's where they still are at 47 degrees. 51 in Oak Harbor, 58 in Everett. Renton right now sitting at 58 as well. So overall still a pretty mild evening with the rain more over the, the Kitsap Peninsula and over the Olympic Peninsula as well. And it's been taking its time. So we're going to continue to see some of these showers over the same spots. And this is where we anticipate to see some of the higher amounts of rain as we go throughout the next 24 hours. And then you head northward rain shadowing, keeping a lot of the heavier rain away for Port Angeles swim around Discovery Bay and for parts of the San Juan Islands. You'll have some showers but it won't be nearly as heavy. System still going to be moving on through. Our front will push by as we head into the night and early tomorrow morning, and that will help to bring in more of the rain chances closer to Puget Sound as we go deep into the night. And for tomorrow morning, 5, 6, 7 a.m., we'll see that start to roll on by. Here we are at noon, seeing some of those showers more off and on in nature, and we'll still keep some of those around for tomorrow night too, right around 10 o'clock. And then check out what happens Tuesday. You start to see a lot more of this white filling in. That's the snow levels starting to come back down as we get the colder air to settle on in. As far as the rain amounts, though, a quarter to a half an inch, nothing really too heavy expected as we go throughout the next two to three days. 56 tomorrow will top off at 53 on Tuesday and the cooler weather. Yeah, it's back and it's be sticking around for a while, maybe even at the beginning of May as we head into next Sunday.